Theater as the story of the attack on Pearl Harbor unfolds right in front of you. When the first bombs began to fall, pilots all over the island jumped into action. At Wheeler Field, Lieutenant Philip Rasmussen woke to the sound of bombs, jumping out of bed, strapping on a 45 caliber pistol over his purple pajamas, and ran to a working Curtis P-36 Hawk. He was joined by four more P-36 pilots, Louis Sanders, Harry Brown, Gordon Sterling, and Malcolm Mike Moore. They took out to engage the attacking Japanese and managed to shoot down a few of their Zeros, Vows, and Kates. The enemy number of aircraft were incredibly overwhelming. Meanwhile, elsewhere on the island, Kenneth Taylor and George Welsh were just returning from an all-night dinner, dance, and poker party. These two pilots caught up with the Japanese close to Pearl Harbor and Hickam Field and engaged the Zeros, Vows, and Kates with rounds from their 30 caliber machine guns. However, they quickly ran out of ammunition. Luckily, they were able to land at Wheeler Field, which is near the center of the island. They refueled and reloaded with 30 and 50 caliber ammo and took off once again to fight the Japanese. The two pilots are credited with downing a total of six Japanese warplanes before their own planes were disabled. Both pilots received a Distinguished Service Cross for their actions that infamous day. A total of 502 U.S. planes were on the ground at the beginning of the attack. Sadly, 188 were totally destroyed. 159 damaged and 155 aircraft lay on the ground in various stages of disrepair. Right in front of you show center is our P-36 Hawks. The first wave of 189 Japanese Zeros, Bells, and Kates hammered the almost an hour. Then came the second wave of an additional 171 aircraft to continue the strafing, bombing, and dropping of torpedoes for yet another 70 minutes. Yes, that's a total of 360 enemy warplanes. As the attack proceeded at Pearl Harbor and Hickam Field, the devastation was horrifying. On the eastern end of Fort Island, in the center of the harbor, nine battleships lay at work. The California, Oklahoma, West Virginia, Tennessee, Maryland. First, the Japanese hit with K torpedo bombers. The initial wave of Kates hit five of our battleships. The Oklahoma, California, Nevada, West Virginia, and the Utah. These Kates were specially equipped with shallow running torpedoes specifically designed for the attack on Pearl Harbor. You see, the shallow waters of Pearl Harbor would not allow the use of normal and broke it too. Forever in traffic. 178 American servicemen in an underwater tomb. The ship sank in less than three minutes. And still today, she remains at the bottom of the harbor in a watery grave, crying black tears as a reminder to all who lost their lives that infamous day. Torah, Torah, Torah. Imagine that you were there that day. Thompson was on guard duty when nine zeros attacked the base. He stepped out of his guard shack, drew his 45 caliber pistol, and began firing. I love him. That's his dad. Passed away a little while ago. Lived a great life, though. A really good life. And saw the, uh, the foresight to see that they put this together and put together into a story that should never be forgotten. And so that they'll always remember it. And it's won awards and you've seen it. So speaking of things that are hot, we just took Derek Thieler. I have so much more respect for all of our pilots here. Um, I, you know, I'm going to tell the secret. I love the other person. But I could not hang up there just to see. I was doing a lot. But luckily, I got through most of the paces and we got to, you know, uh, get formation with the team. It was the ride of my life.